Hello and welcome to another episode on Snow Peak Adventures. My name is Vince and today we are going to take a tour of my 2018 Scout Light A-Liner. This thing is pretty cool. Stay tuned. So to start off this tour we have here my 2016 Subaru Forester named Jasmine. I love the color, I love the name, and it's the perfect tow vehicle for a 13-foot A-frame pop-up that's roughly around 1,100 pounds. Probably with all the equipment that I have inside of it, eh, it probably has maybe 1,300 pounds in it and the car still tows very well. So, to start off, let's take a look inside. So you have your driver's seat, and I like to keep things comfortable, so I have uh, an extra armrest that goes over that, I got some coffee mugs, I store some stuff in there, I got my infotainment center, and overall it's a very good car. I really like it, it's very comfortable to drive. Um, I used to own a uh, 2018 Subaru for, uh, Outback, and I never really liked it. So that's the front seat guys. Now, coming to the back seat, this is going to end up getting full of uh, camping gear here this summer, but for right now, this is what we're working with back here, and it's very spacious. You also have a very nice big open sunroof to let in a lot of natural light. I really like that. And then to bring down the seat, it's a 40-60 split, it's pretty cool. And it's spacious. That's what I really like. Now if you come around back, I have a ton of storage back here, which is really awesome. I have a camp chair, plus I have quite a few more camp chairs in the camper as well. Um, but then I also have under floor storage as well underneath here, which is really nice to carry like winter gear that I don't need for the summertime and whatnot. It's really cool. So that's the back of my Super Forester. Coming around front, I have a battery that charges on the car when I drive and it also charges when I'm hooked up to 30 amp in the campground. And then I've also installed this cargo box from Harbor Freight. It's perfect, it costs around 70, 80 bucks and I could store a whole bunch of different kinds of outdoor items that get kind of dirty and messy when I go camping. So it's really nice to have you know, my wheel chocks and my power cord and, you know, paper towels if I need them. You know, just different things that I could put up in here that get dirty. So it's a really neat thing. That was a smart move. Then on this side, I have my solar hookup and it's a quick connect. So all I would have to do is buy a solar panel, even a solar briefcase and possibly get a converter and I would have solar hookup right there so I would never have to be plugged in which is really awesome. Then coming along back here I have my freshwater connection and I can just hook up a water hose to this and put it to any freshwater connection and I have fresh water in the trailer. I also have my 30 amp connector down here as well. So there's that. And then underneath here I have a drain outlet which allows me to drain the water out of the sink whenever I have water flowing into the trailer. Pretty cool. So now that I showed you the car in the front of the trailer, let's go around and let's give you a tour of the inside. Let's go. So for starters, this is the side of the trailer with the door. And I have here a air conditioner, which is really nice in the summertime. It only runs off at the 30 amp, so it wouldn't be able to, or even gas generator, it doesn't run off by itself or the battery. So you need to be hooked in for that. I have a nice little outdoor light for the nighttime. And then let's check out the inside. So as you walk in, you have a nice footstep. I like to have a carpet. And this is it. And then I sleep over here on the right side and there's a lot of natural light that comes in here and it's really nice um, as you walk in in the front here you have your galley which is really awesome and you can get them installed with like a mini fridge down below and a in counter um, stove but I had my own stove so I said you know what keep it basic I have a cooler 
this is primarily all I need is my propane stove and then over here you have your sink and you can hook this up to um, a water source and the water will come through a spigot that I have down here and then I also built this wooden contraption to hold my water jug for when I go camping at sites that don't have water hookup. I'll just fill up the bluey jug and voila I have water. Coming around to the left, I have a booth dinette, which is very comfortable to sit at and get some work done. I do a lot of working at this table, for sure, with editing and camera work and photography, which I really enjoy. So, this booth dinette also folds down into a bed. Um, I definitely have, like, there's this... Uh, stand down here that comes apart and then the table folds away and then you have these light brown panels and they go across here and then the cushions lay on top and you have a bed for one to two people it's a little tight for two but for one it works perfect on this side there's the entry for the air conditioner i love it in the hot summer days this air conditioner is really cool um, and then I just keep a little bit of memorabilia in here as well. Um, so I keep little, you know, lake rolls, you know, really neat stuff. So that's pretty much the inside tour of the trailer. And then I also have up here a Dometic uh, Fantastic Fan. And this is really awesome because it blows the air in and out. So let's say you have a window open. Well, you can let the air come in or go out. It's an awesome thing and it has a fan speed as well. I love it. So I'll take you guys through some of the cabinets and show you guys what I have. It's just your everyday camping gear and daily essentials that you need for camping. So if you walk in here, oh jeez, I have a toiletry bag, basket, and I have a dustpan in here. But I carry a bunch of different stuff for when I need to take a shower, and it's already in a caddy, so that's nice. Down below here, I also have a uh, lantern and a bag and waterproofer <laughs> and my tarp. The tarp goes in the front of the trailer. That's in the picture that you see with the lights, so that's where that stores. I have also my little fire extinguisher in case there's ever an emergency. I never understood this door being faced upward but down in here I keep a step stool and then I keep a bunch of gear as well so I have a heater lantern my lights I think I have a um, air pump I have just a few little essentials that I need for when I'm on the road doing my photography in this cabinet that goes underneath the stove, where the stove would sit, I carry the stove, the blue jug, a coffee maker. You can't go camping with that coffee. That's my cheat way right there. I also have a um, percolator and a uh, coffee drip, um, collapsible coffee drip that I use for my coffee. So I just store some of my kitchen essentials like pots, pans, and bulky items underneath here. Usually this is where the refrigerator would go. Then, as you come along over here, usually I store all my food under the sink cabinet here in the summer, and I don't really have any food right now. <laughs> over on this side, I store just some essentials, and then this is all my cookware. So I have uh, like spoons, um, different things, you name it. I have a bunch of... Uh, items in there. So that's all my cooking stuff and then just little extra stuff. And then in here I keep in here just a lot of pots like plates, bowls, coffee filters, my knowledge and bottle, different things like that um, for when I'm on the road. It tends to be a lot easier to pack or uh, to toss things out than to have to clean. Well, you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing. Hit that push notification bell down below and like this video for more awesome content. Thank you for watching and have a great day.